One of the most fascinating facts about valvular heart disease in pregnancy is how dramatically pregnancy physiology amplifies the hemodynamic burden of even a mild pre-existing valve lesion. During pregnancy, blood volume increases by nearly 40-50%, cardiac output rises by up to 50% and heart rate accelerates. So, these changes are necessary to support the growing fetus, but they can unmask or worsen previously compensated valvular disease. For example, mitral stenosis is the worst one. Often caused by rheumatic heart disease, is particularly dangerous during pregnancy. The increased blood volume and tachycardia raise left atrial pressure, which can precipitate pulmonary edema and atrial fibrillation. In fact, Mitral stenosis is the most common valvular lesion complicating pregnancy worldwide, and it's a leading cause of maternal morbidity in developing so-called developing countries. Interestingly, reg regurgitant lesions, insufficiency of the valves, like a mitral aortic regurgitation, are often better tolerated than stenotic lesions during pregnancy. Why? Because the physiologic the decrease in systemic valvular resistance reduces the regurgitant fraction, regurgitant fraction, making symptoms less pronounced. In contrast, stenotic lesions create fixed obstructions that be uh, uh, that um, that the heart these fixed obstructions cannot adapt, cannot adapt to making them much higher risk. Get it? The fist is a fixed obstruction, of course, that the heart cannot adapt to. From a clinical perspective, my beloveds, management requires a delicate balance, avoiding both problems, maternal decompensation and fetal hypoxia issue. So labor and delivery further stress the cardiovascular system due to blood loss, pain and sudden uh, fluid shifts, making this period especially dangerous. So the key takeaway is this. Pregnancy is a natural stress test for the heart, and even mind valvular stenosis can become life-threatening, while regurgitant lesions are often, are often surprisingly better tolerated. No, stenosis is always worse than regurgitation, of course. No, it depends on uh, gradient, etc., etc. This contrast is one of the most intriguing aspects of cardiovascular physiology in pregnancy. So we have to start to understand that. It's always worth starting what sows doubt. Okay? It's always worth starting with what sows doubt. Okay? Stay blessed, my beloveds.